Ah, I'm in the video. Yeah, sorry. I don't feel like split screening, lazy and such. Mostly that's the reason. Uh, so anyway, I got a couple of response videos uh, to go over. Um, Zachary Jordan. Um, good answers. You know, links below. Um, mostly. Um, and, um, uh, you know, so I'll answer his questions. So I'll play his questions, I guess. I wrote down <clears throat> brief answers, uh, but I don't really understand the questions because I wrote answers. And some of the answers don't match what I thought the questions were, so better listen to the questions again. If you were told that you had two weeks to live, what would you do? How would your behavior change? Right, so this one, when I wrote it down, there wasn't a distinction between I have two weeks to live, like the whole world has two weeks to live, or I have two weeks to live in the current context. So the the crappy answer is, you know, if the world was coming to an end, then it would be kind of a nice two weeks, you know, because then you're just kind of, ah, you know, basking in that. <laughs> so the melancholia kind of scenario is, uh, yeah, that seems kind of fun. You know, do a little fucking, a little drinking, relax, you know, no worries. Um, with two weeks to live in this world, well, yeah, I got a lot of junk. I'd like my good junk to go to somebody. And, um, yeah, it just seems like I'd be spending the two weeks cleaning up my mess of a life and making a lot of videos, of course, to try to say, well, I, look, this is what I mean. I didn't mean that. I meant this. Just to make sure, you know, try to fix all the places where somebody could quote mine me in some kind of stupid way. Um, that kind of thing. You know, quick autobiography or something of, you know, philosophical evolution or whatever. But, yeah, it just seems like it'd be a lot of work. Uh, so whatever, I, yeah, I'd, I'd have to get busy and, <laughs> you know, get an awful lot done in two weeks. Yuck. Number two, you have two choices. You can choose to die peacefully in your sleep tomorrow night, or you can choose to continue to live, but there's no guarantee that your death will be quick and easy. Which option would you choose? Uh, yeah, it sort of depends on where I was in my life or how I'd answer this one, I guess. Uh, if it was 20 years ago, I'd probably say, yes, just give me the peaceful death now because, you know, I'm of no value. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to accomplish anything. And for some dopey reason, I just have some sort of sense of being more useful than I thought I was in the past. And that might just be bullshit. Um, there might not be any hope in that, but yeah, I just sort of th I have this sense that um, you know I might be on the cusp of something, and uh, wouldn't want to throw that opportunity to make some sort of constructive change away. So yada yada yada, I wouldn't take the safe choice. I'd take the more dangerous choice. And, yeah, yeah, maybe not wisely. Number three. How old were you when you became a vegetarian, and why did you go vegetarian? Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say that it was probably later than it should have been. I was probably about 17, or, I'd say. Um, yeah, I worked in restaurants, and I sort of, uh, you know, seeing it all the time, you know, you just sort of, what the hell are we doing? So it made it more obvious, but I, I'd say that I, I became a vegetarian in the sense of I was dealing with a um, cognitive dissidence on the subject, you know, somewhere in my early teens where I really f found it kind of disgusting. You know, even though I l liked eating turkey and chicken and all that stuff, you're chewing on the bones, actually, chewing on them. <laughs> it's just so, there seems something obviously not quite right about this, and um, that certainly occurred to me, and I'm, like I said, I'm just kind of, in, I'm kind of embarrassed that um, I wasn't um, um, decent enough uh, a person to see that hypocrisy for what it was, just hypocrisy, and um, do something about it, so... But, you know, and, and even when I became a vegetarian, <clears throat> because I did work in restaurants, I cheated. You know, I mean, there were, 
I, I really reduced how much meat I ate, but it happened where somebody would make something, a chef or something, you want to try this, you know, and I'd try it. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't, um, I, I was on the road. I wasn't uh, complete. And even much later than I still ate ice cream, uh, stuff like that. So, you know, lot, lots of um, imperfections in my road to it. And... Um, I apologize for that. Um, no real excuse except for the fact that there was no vegetarians nagging me and I didn't have any sense of obligation to anything. You know, the, the little squeals of the animals were f far enough away that, you know, I could rationalize myself an excuse to say it was okay somehow and it really wasn't. And number four. How do you feel about the possibility of human extinction in the near term by means of nuclear war or abrupt climate change? Yeah, this question seemed like to something to relate to this the second question, but yeah, no, it was, that wasn't. Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, uh, it does matter, and that's all you'd say about it is, is how much of a mess do you make going out. So this whole idea of a graceful exit for an individual, obviously that makes an infinite amount of sense to me, right? You don't bleed any more than you need to bleed. You don't scream any longer you need to scream. All of that kind of crap. And the same would go for um, uh, terminations. And there's the problem is is the ones that are aesthetically <clears throat> unpleasant, you know, and that we have a visceral ooh kind of reaction to, are probably often the ones that are um, mechanically and, and logically um, preferable. Um, guillotines are brutally, you know, all the imagery of the big knife hanging over the head and all of this, that, that they have so many negative images tied to them. But in a way, it's got to be one of the cleanest ways to die possible. I mean, it just automatically kills the blood pressure, consciousness ends immediately. Um, you know, it's, it's probably the best way to die, um, but it's hard to see it that way, you know, and so yes, the nuking thing is probably the way to go, but it's like you can do that wrong too, you can just end up irradiating a bunch of people and that's no good, but dying of bullet wounds is no good either, so kind of uh, nasty choices all around. Um, yeah, doing it on purpose means you can probably do it right. Not doing it on purpose means that you'll probably do it wrong. That's sort of a a theme here, and that's why this is an, an important conversation. And if it was people's own death, they would want to have a conversation. They, they would want to talk about it before they did it. So if this was a part of your routine life, that you actually had to think about this and orchestrate your death, I'm sure you'd want to orchestrate like a wedding or anything else to try to make it as good as you could. And the very fact that people just don't pay any attention is is just uh, evidence of how much <clears throat> they're not paying attention to the game we're in. Which always brings up Anaconavod, not paying attention to the, the big picture. <laughs> I'm just living my life. It's just It's just about me, isn't it? I mean, I don't really have to worry about all these other issues. I was just... <clears throat> You, you know, with almost this idiotic notion that we aren't a byproduct of our fortune or misfortune in terms of the circumstances of our birth. I guess there are these people who actually think they'd be exactly the same person no matter where they were born. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of silly. <laughs> yeah. Ha, 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 ha. All right, so anyway, this John Plant guy they made a video. I did speed it up a little bit, you know, <clears throat> and... um I got through some of it, but yeah, I, uh, you know, um, it's, you know, answering the the right to die question is just the same old glib crap. Just more evidence of somebody who just doesn't think about subjects, and you know, just disappointingly vacuous kind of answer. Question number two: Should should society force people to live? Well, um, if you ask me, it evermore doesn't, which is kind of okay. <clears throat> so it evermore doesn't. I mean, you know, we have all these prohibitions against dying on purpose still. I mean, just very overt. 
industrial efforts to prevent people from choosing to die, uh, even when they have extreme medical conditions, they still got to get authorization from you know every bureaucrat in existence. It never could. If you really want to die, you can jump. Okay, that's not the question. Okay, the question isn't should should desperate. You know how. I I didn't even you know desperation wasn't part of the question. The question wasn't should society. Um, well, I, I guess I could have asked it that way, and that might have made it clearer to you. Because this is what I was asking. I was asking should society force people to be extremely desperate? Um, should the decision be made by desperation, or should it be a voluntary choice? So so if I was to take away all anesthesia and sharp. Um, implements, you know, no scalpels, and then I could just say, well, you have a right to ha have an academic, how come I can't say words anymore? An appendix removal, <laughs> you know, you have a right to have your kidney taken out, you just have to take it out with a screwdriver without anesthesia, what's the big deal, just get drunk, do it the old-fashioned way. Now, if I did that, you would know, I'm not giving you a right to medicine, am I? I'm not giving you a right to... Uh, health care, am I? I mean, it's just such a glib, stupid response to say you can always just jump off a building or blow your brains out or do it in some other way where you have to commit violence against yourself and your short-term welfare to make this choice. Well, why should there be any penalty? Why shouldn't it be a completely free choice? That is, <clears throat> you're presented with a question, live or not live, to be or not to be, and the two choices are equally... Um, presented. There's no uh, added penalties. You can choose either one just as freely. No, no added burdens. No added obstacles. I mean, it's just, you know, I hate you glib fuckers. Off any building, any time. Jump off any building, any day. So again, just evade the question. That's not having the, the right to die. It's not having the choice to die. If you make it unnecessarily hoopy, okay? If you have to jump through a bunch of fucking hoops of desperation, even, um, you know, again, am I giving you a right to medicine if I take away all of medicine and just say you have a right to knock your bad tooth out with a rock? And stop you, really. And, yeah, more and more, I think, society is turning in a dangerous direction where it wants to kill useless eaters again, like elderly people, or... Uh, well, again, yeah, where, where, again, you say, and it never did exist that way, they didn't kill them, but yeah, they obviously died, because you couldn't keep them alive, because they didn't have medicine, they didn't have the choice to live, didn't have the choice to take some penicillin and be all better. And so, again, you're just doing the same thing in, in an in a overt and malicious way. You, you fucking sick, psychotic bastard. <laughs> yeah. Why, why would you force old people to live any longer than they choose to live? Can't, you don't think people, you don't think the majority of people will sign a living will saying, yeah, I really don't want to do that whole respirator, vegetative state thing. No thank you, fucker. I don't want to be in the goddamn nursing home, um, you know, thinking I'm uh, not even recognizing my own kids. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to play that. You don't think that's the majority of people, stupid fuck? And you think the crisis is that too many old people are dying too young? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Crippled people. Question number three. Is it okay that uh, some people inherit the world, the economy? Let's just guess he's going to say yes. <laughs> yeah, because he's stupid, so it seems like that would be his glib answer. They earned it! <laughs> While others have to work hard and basically get nothing for it. Well, I'm not sure. I'll leave. Oh, yeah, okay. Brilliant. Great answer. Thanks. Get up to God. All I'm saying. Uh, up to God. Okay, so, well, we. I was assuming he was an idiot, and now we have the evidence. Good. As a believer is that it's nearly impossible for a rich man to... Yeah, you know, who gives a shit about all that crap, right? Because we're really not talking about the the kingdom of God, okay? So if you if you really think, even if you, we were all Christians and you'd all be sitting there saying it doesn't matter what happens here, 
Um, does it really not matter? And if it doesn't matter, if none of this is the context of who we are and who we become in heaven, what's the fucking point? I mean, if I'm not going to remember any of this life, what is the point of saying I'm just going to take my consciousness stripped of its identity and personality and shove it into some sort of whatever place where I do whatever forever? Why would I buy that crap? Inherit the kingdom of God. It's easier. Yeah, the kingdom of God. What exactly is this kingdom? It just doesn't sound like a great place to me. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't think it's lined with pinball machines. It just doesn't sound cool at all. It sounds like a fucking goddamn boring turd of a drag. For a camel to go through the eye of a needle. But I guess it's just all how it is. Yeah, whatever. That's you know, it's just so short of the, a proper answer. It's like saying there's a king. Oh, it's just the way it is. There's a dictator. Oh, that's just the way it is. Yeah, just everybody just. Oh, yeah, it's the way it is. This is why things suck, you jackass. Is because you assholes just keep saying glib shit like this. Oh, it's the way it is. Oh, nothing you can do about it. Uh, don't bother even talking about it. Fuck that. Ugh. A rich man, a poor man, we, we all show our two colors to God. Uh, yes, whatever, <laughs> to God. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're sounding like you belong in one of those movies, one of them wacky guys who, you know, assassinates people for the poop. Lifetime, don't we? Now, my three questions to in uh, good. What Question number one, what's the point of morals and ethics? If there's no judgment by an all-knowing... Uh, because it has to do with the efficiency of the lifeboat. You understand? I, I mean, how can you say there's no point to having some sort of rules about lifeboat life? Because obviously you can make it horribly worse or wonderfully better. Okay, Being in the lifeboat can be really cool or it can be really suck depending on who's holding the gun and what kind of stupid rules they make. <sighs> Shit. And creator. And that's just to flesh it out more, basically. Uh, we live flesh and blood lives for sure, okay? This promise of boring heaven is just a promise, and this promise of, you know, threatening hell or whatever. The, but the thing we do for sure is this thing. And the questions are related to doing this thing. Should we impose unnecessary on each other? Should we get drunk? Should we get drunk and drive? Should we drink and drive? You know, should we poison the drinking water? Should we ruin the environment for the future? Should we borrow the money from the future? Should, shall we mortgage children, actually mortgage them? <laughs> okay, and then force them to pay the loan back? I mean, those are real questions. That real, real, real answers will affect real people in real lives. It's not going to be not real lives that will be lived based on the consequences of the answers to those kind of questions. That's why it matters, jackass. Who keeps you from killing people or stealing from people? Yeah, it's not God. It's it's a, it's just being having integrity and honesty and not being a hypocrite. Now, if I don't want somebody killing me because they have some thought in their head, I have to sort of agree not to kill them. So yeah, you got to do that do unto other thing with some sort of confidence, or there's no ability to live. Right? It just doesn't work at all. And if I thought just killing one person would solve the problem, like killing a Hitler or something, and maybe have some chance of ending the whole thing and causing a re-election or some kind of bullshit and something good can happen, then I would murder. But <clears throat> there's no like, I, there's no perfect thing to murder here. <laughs> you know, so uh, the option isn't available. But I'm certainly uh, willing to go to prison, for, you know, for the right opportunity. Or doing whatever you want, if there's no God. <clears throat> well, but again, it's it's just the only thing that's stopping you is knowledge of right and wrong, and knowing that that won't fix a problem, or that'll just cause unnecessary pain and suffering. Um, but that's it, and also your own personal interest. It's guess what? It's no fun being in a revolution. It's no fun getting shot by the freaking government. It's you know having the F-15 come over and shoot your blow your house up. None of that's actually fun. Uh, you know, it's up to a retard or an insane moron. So exactly what do you think I need as incentives not to be an asshole here on Earth? I mean, there's plenty of incentives to say, yeah, I really don't want to go to prison and get raped and all that shit. Duh. 
<laughs> yeah, it works. Deterrence works. Humanity, you got. If they say you do that, we'll throw you in jail. Is that what holds you back? Yes. How many murderers? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It really does. Okay. Uh, I mean, having the right to sit in my living room and make videos is a right I really enjoy, and I really hate being in prison and you know having to, you know, uh, wear. Well, well, you know, who knows what I'd have to wear. But the way with killing never got caught. Why do we have ethics and morals? Is it because of fear of people or of God? But. I'm going too far here. Some questions. Well, for me, you don't need God to be afraid of, and obviously there's some incentive not to do stupid stuff because, yes, there's a real likelihood that you end up in prison getting raped and harmed. So, yes, prison works as a deterrent. It scares the fuck out of me. You know, I've seen what's in prison. <laughs> I wouldn't want to hang out with those guys. What's the point of morals and ethics if there's no judgment by an all-knowing creator? You already said that. And we all... Yeah, again, there's plenty of point, blah, 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 blah. I don't need God either to be ethical, that is, to realize it's just stupid, or to realize I am going to pay a huge personal price if I do that. No, only Jesus saves, basically. Well, he doesn't save shit. He didn't see, again, he doesn't save women from pain in childbirth, does he? Or the period thing, right? Those are God's curses for Eve's sin. So until I see those things ended, I say Jesus was a fake. <laughs> because obviously he didn't save anything. He didn't change a motherfucking thing. What on earth changed after Jesus died? Who's, who, what, what, where, where is there lambs lying down with lions and shit? Where did anything get fixed? I don't see any new contract. I see the same old fucking contract. Here's some cancer, eat your gruel, die. Not a works. We're all falling short to all sinners. Well, whatever. You're all liars and kooks is what you are. And that's really unfortunate. And then you're ignoramuses. So you have ignoramus, liar, and kook. This is really tough. I mean, you got crazy fuckers, lying fuckers, and stupid fuckers. Shit. <laughs> oh my. This is not a good yellow brick road we're walking. <clears throat> and you're one of the freaking talking E. coli bacteria that's the problem. Question number two. Would you dance or would you cry if nuclear war was about to end most to all life? Oh, well, I wouldn't dance because I'm just not a dancer, but, <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> I would do that. <laughs> good. Let's just get out of here. So, yes. Good. Clean it up. Nice nice little spray from Mr. Clean. Nice. Yes, sanitize the whole thing. Very good. Question number three. Have you ever read Ecclesiastes? Uh, I've read the whole stupid retarded Bible and yet yeah, none of it made any goddamn sense, especially the whole naked Noah thing being a, the hugest crime ever. Uh, none of it made any sense. Uh, 900 year old people with eight kids doesn't make any sense. None of it makes any sense. It's a wacky book full of kooky crap. Uh, except for like, you know, do unto other thing and and a few of the little parables, you know. Thou who thinks too much will get a headache. You know, the little Confucianisms that are in the Bible are fine. But, yes, 99.999999% of the words written in the Bible are bibble and babble and bullshit and nonsense and rubbish and crap and shit. And you can't make any sense out of it at all. And again, there's just absolutely no... This, we have this huge paradise we're trying to earn God's favor. Why would I want the favor of an ego, maniacal, insane, motherfucking God who punishes children for the, for the crimes of the parents, who murders, you know, women and children in battle? I mean, he's a disgraceful cunt who gives people leprosy in the first place, so they have to beg for, 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 for a cure. Who, who needs this shithead? Fuck you. For listening, take care. God bless all. Well, I'm not going to give any blessings, but uh, I'll just say, look, okay, thank you for responding. I appreciate you playing along. Uh, I wish you weren't an idiot or crazy, slash idiot, slash crazy. 
I don't know if you're a liar necessarily. I mean, I think the fact that you have you 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 are willfully, almost deliberately, um, not really thinking very hard about your answers, <laughs> you know, might be evidence of some. Uh, lying, but it, that's a sort of weird deception. You know, maybe it's a psychological thing. You just can't can't go there. Um, but anyway, I do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so have I completed my task here? I believe I have. So it gives me a time to rant on Antikonovod some more. So anyway, he did make a video, and it's and it's just the same Nietzsche bullshit. Okay, Nietzsche realizes it's a shit game. That's the truth, okay? He says, nothing works. Charity doesn't work. Decency doesn't work. Good government doesn't work. Nothing works because I can pick at it and say, you're all failing. You're not doing it good enough. So because there's a Stalin, that means don't ever try to be socially decent. Because there's a Pol Pot, don't ever have any ideas about having something called culture and try to preserve it. Because everything goes wrong somehow. Everything is all inevitably fucktarded. We can never do it right. It's just a lie. It's a false premise. You know, we can never have Atlantis or um, whatever that city up in the middle of the mountains are that's a Shangri-La or something. We can never do the Shangri-La thing. And my argument is bullshit. Of course we can, but we can't do it with all this noise, with all these jackasses fucking the game. All the trolls. The trolls make it impossible. The glibs, the kooks, and the idiots we get in the way. And force you to do something horrible because you got to have a defense against their waste. They make everything into a waste bucket. All right. <clears throat> um, so, but, but so that premise was wrong. But even if that premise was right, okay, and it's it's the 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 foundation of the bug planet is just that it's a bug planet, and that's basically what Nietzsche is goddamn saying. And you assholes who think he's saying anything else are liars because you didn't read it. Okay, he's basically saying it's bug mentality, it's a bug planet, be a bug. He's just basically saying, fuck, thinking about anything bigger than how to maximize this in the internal gear work. Make this thing happy and just fuck any obligation to the lifeboat, okay? So if, if it's going to make you happy to eat a hole through the lifeboat, it's going to make you happy to... You know, throw people overboard for the fun of it. If it's going to make you happy to do anything stupid, go ahead and be stupid. Because it's just about running this one little machine. And somehow, it'll make sense if everybody's doing that. It'll make just as much sense as people trying to organize something called civilization. And the hypocrisy of these assholes who lived in civilizations, kind of good civilizations that gave them a right to be literate, gave them the opportunity to be literate, um, and they talk this trash. It's just amazing. It's amazing. Amazingly fucked hearted. Um, for people not to understand that the, the, you were all placed on this board in these positions. And the position you get placed in is critical to your welfare. You're going to have one bad life if you're born in the wrong place on this planet. And you're not going to have what you what's in your head now isn't going to be in your head. You're not going to you're not going to be uh, any kind of big thinker or big thought maker or any of that kind of shit. Maybe you'll be a better person than you are now. Maybe you are a shithead. I can't I, you know I don't know who's listening. Lots of trolls, no doubt. Um, but the point is, is I would argue that uh, the more literate and the more philosophically interested, the more concerned about the welfare of the planet or the people listening to me and you're going to be in a lot worse shape not better shape on average and to not appreciate that for Anaconovod not to think it's an important conversation to have about the welfare of the existence of humanity because humanity is where we're falling into the bucket called humanity we don't fall into the bucket called me consciousness falls into the bucket called human being and if we don't make a good world for human beings you're just sentencing yourself to slavery, for fuck's sake. All right, enough of a video. So anyway, thank you to participants. And uh, again, I will do more effort to organize this and all that kind of shit. But, you know, everything's a matter of priorities. So I'll get to that eventually. <laughs> yeah, at least they're, well, whatever. Uh, you know, just so much to do here. 
Anyway, so till next time and such. <laughs>